this freight into space. off limits. You are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. Let me check my logs. <laughs> Alright, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. It's a damn shame that it was necessary oh, to reopen this facility. But someone has to deal with you the You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough. But I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? You project personnel? Supplies are for project personnel only. Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. 
Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to him. Now, what was it you needed? Don't worry. I'll handle the paperwork. Could feed a small planet with the amount of food this place goes through. Now, what can I do for you? Captain. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum. I have no need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. 
It's with good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Asili's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. going out there willingly. Damn. to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. Something. 
most facilities in the city. Systems should shut themselves back down automatically. Duly noted, Commander. All set on your gear? You... Are you ready to do this? Then, let's get this show on the road. Geyser? Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comms should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. You may open the gate when ready.
Until later. That jump looked painful. Not doing that. over to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right. Kaiser, how did you know that? Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. We've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. No one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. <gasps> Real marvel. Some of the only. Let's. Let's have it. Oh my god. The heat leech. 
witches are terramorphs. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We... We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. I am sincerely inclined to agree, but current evidence suggests nature manages it just fine. The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing, get after it! on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. A bioweapon no one would recognize as one. Oh, that's a terrifying prospect. Sort of thing that'll keep you up at night. And the sort of thing whoever did this probably didn't expect us to uncover. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why?
let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more term morph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. Exactly. But let me back up a bit so I can explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Had we notched some significant achievements, I'd agree with you. You see, the top brass demanded press-worthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination, so I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed, because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. <sighs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Of course you do. I'm just not thinking straight right now. Phew, this has taken a lot out of me, so maybe we should just leave things right here. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did.
able to provide sufficient power to the lock mechanism. Anyone got ideas where we could get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed. of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's... No. He's worse than a murderer. He's a butcher. He doesn't give a damn about human lives. He simply uses them as pawns to satisfy his goals. Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But if the plant was used to trigger the attacks, could Vey Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? And even if he wasn't directly involved, I guarantee he knows something. So you're telling us that the attack on New Atlantis was Vey Victus's responsibility? Just like the loss of Londinium. That's insane. But I guess we're not getting any more answers right now. Come on, let's go get that last sample. Guys, 
Hawkins. Your sample, it moved. I'd be real careful out there if I were you. That doesn't sound good. Eyes peeled. Sample with Kaiser, and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk privately. On it.
the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Big Victors knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. Huh. Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Whatever you can turn up is more than we have now. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the Cabinet Chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Best of luck on your fact-finding mission. picked up something you might be interested in.
Hey there! You look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Not this again, Nissa. I'm fine. I really am. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Freestar Rangers. You're short on credits? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. For you, I'd consider a discount. I'm still willing to talk. Well, the last thing I want is you going bankrupt on my account. I'll work for whatever you can pay. I think we'll make a great team, huh? Thanks for giving me a chance, Captain. I won't let you down. You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. Do I need a shower or something? Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. I'm not asking for that much. Just my fair share. You're asking me to work for less than the going rate? Why would I do that? Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Well, I guess something's better than nothing. I'll cut my price, but I'm not going any lower. Really? I, I mean, thanks. Sorry, I'm just used to hearing no. Thanks for giving me a chance. I'm on my way. Hey. Another day?
you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? How could you know? You're telling the truth, aren't you? You want to hear the words, then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet. 
leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was our lays and our lays alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew... Why? Did he say why he did it? It takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. So you're telling us that the attack on New Atlantis was Ve Victus's responsibility? Just like the dooming of Londinian? Oh, that's insane. All that, just to help restore the family name? How did he ever think that was going to work? Well, once we inform the Cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. Make sure his future schemes and machinations stay in his cell with him. But honestly, I'm not sure. He's in a unique position and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone he's hurt. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the Cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Then here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true?
The second report claims to know the perpetrator as well. Did Reginald Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling, considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Heavens help us. It is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vay Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. It's well past due. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian, all materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Tell the Freestar Collective. Why? Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. Gather your thoughts, and let's Indeed. continue. Indeed. Open relations at this point would be critical towards maintaining peace. Hmm. That is an interesting idea. A grand gesture, showing definitively this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kolkarni. Very well. 
We'll get the collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've had a few discussions, but our group is similarly split. Only the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. I doubt there's another body in the galaxy that could pull it off. Absolutely correct. There are no better hands in the galaxy for this project than ours. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the Captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class I citizens to our ranks. Class I? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Captain? I guess we've got our assignments. I just wanted to say... I could have never guessed where all this was going to lead. But now, knowing what I do, that my father truly is the monster I always thought he was. Well, I've just spent a lot of my life in pursuit of the truth. So, you bringing it straight to me, it just means a lot. The best ones certainly do. You know, I was thinking, while we were there on the podium, if I wanted to try and see him again. After all, it could be my last chance. But I knew the answer before I even finished the thought. I didn't. 
Because confronting him, what would I gain from that? From letting him remind me I can never truly be rid of him? Nothing. Now, all I'd be doing is acknowledging that he still has some sway over my life. And while I can't do anything about his role in my past, I'm not about to let him control my future. And thanks to what we've done together, that future is brighter than it has been in a long time. Words can't do justice to how grateful I am for that. Well, I think it's safe to say you succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It's been an honor, Captain. Good luck out there. The UC military's lucky to have you. Hey, Victus. May he never hurt another soul again. Gotta say, this is the first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. About to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh! And I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Any chance to bag some bugs, right? Well, I can provide. Let me just check my logs. Okay. These coordinates should get you to your first target... there. These missions are straightforward. Proceed to the location, kill the critter before it can do any more harm. Just be smart out there. Don't want you getting banged up too bad on your first hunt. Super at Ultra, Captain. 